All right, this is Morgan from MK Pythons doing an update video on clutches three and four. They pipped and were cut on 722 and slowly they made their way out of the eggs and they all came out as of today. This is 725. So um, the two clutches um, on this side, we have a fire paired with a pastel. On this side, we have a bamboo paired with a pastave, which is Mojave pastel. And, um, you know, they, they are just out of the egg. They haven't shed. It might be a little bit difficult to tell 100%, at least on this clutch over here. This one absolutely can tell. We know what's in these snakes, and we hit great odds here. So let's start with the other one first. All right, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, maybe not that much. Okay, so I've actually already sexed all these. We got um, five snakes here. We've got three boys and two girls. Uh, this one I believe to be a fire. And the reason I believe that is that it's, um, it's well, knowing what the parents are, first of all, but there's a nice little head stamp here. Um, the whole head isn't blushed out. It is light, but it's also got kind of more of a tan color as opposed to a yellow color that you would see in the pastels. So I believe that to be a fire and that's a male. All right, right here, I believe we have a pastel. Now this could be a firefly, but um, I'll show you the other ones and the reason why I think this is just a pastel. Um, although it is a really nice looking pastel, but uh, you can see the nice blushed head, um, the yellow coloration, um, and yeah, it's a, it's a good looking snake. It's got a really cool kind of pattern. Um, you, know, you might almost think, does that have um, leopard in it with those, you know, that patterning, but no, no, no leopard, not that I know of. Um, Anyways, yeah, I believe this one is the female, um, but I'm not sure. I, I know we have two that I believe to be pastel, and one's a male, one's a female. So, all right. All right, here's the other one that I believe to be pastel, as you can see, has the head blushing. Oh, let me focus that a little better. Has the head blushing has the the brighter color doesn't have you know it's not as yellow as I've seen some pastels um, but still pretty bright um, but definitely doesn't have a head spot like the fire it's blushed out completely so I believe that that be a pastel this one I think is the male but uh, like I said one's a female one's a male so these two I believe to be the fireflies um, just starting off you can see how blushed out this head pattern is compared to, let me bring one of that, those pastels up. If they'll put their heads together. Uh, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this one is de definitely more blush, blushed out. Um, they're definitely a really nice bright snake. I can't wait till it sheds out and kind of gets a little bit more color, but um, yeah, I was going for fireflies, and it looks like we probably hit two of them. Um, and one's male, one's a female. Uh, all of these, by the way, will be available once they shed and eat and are making good progress. So, all right, here's the last one. Um, also, I believe to be a firefly, hiding his or her head. Uh, so you can see how blushed out that head is. I believe this one is the boy, because this one came out first. Um, nice. This one also has that kind of weird aberrant kind of more busy keyhole-y pattern that that one pastel had. Um, you know, maybe it's just one of the parents carried a gene that had more of a pattern like that and the other one didn't. But um, anyways, yeah, so I believe that to be a firefly. So, alright, let's move on to clutch number four now. Most anticipated clutch of the year so far, so we'll start here. This is our only male in the clutch. It's a pastel. Seeing as the parents were bamboo and a pastave, which is pastel Mojave, we don't have a lot of genes to, 
to choose from. It's definitely not a normal. Um, it's not a bamboo and it's not a, a Mojave, so it's a pastel. Um, he has uh, this nice little uh, flame spot there, kind of this interesting little flame there. Really nice looking snake, but yeah, male and he will be available. All right, moving on to the crown jewels. We got three of them and all three are female. These are Bamboo Mojave Possible Pastel Blue-Eyed Lucy's. Let me get, see if I can focus. And, um, you know, they're small right now, so it's hard for me to get, I think I need a better camera lens. Yeah. All right, well, anyways. Once they shed out, we should be able to actually see a little bit of pattern. I'll probably take a black light to these. Maybe I'll, I'll film it, but they're gonna be some awesome looking snakes very white no pattern on the head like the super mojaves have um, just a clean looking snake little tiny bit kind of almost a ghosting pattern uh, on the sides which i'm not going to be able to pick up on video well you can see it a little bit i guess um, but very nice anyways so i'm going to be holding back one of these girls the other two will be for sale so um all right, here's number two. They're a little dirty because they just came out of the egg today, but uh, you can see again a little bit just a ghosting pattern on the side. Uh, there's the, I don't know, can you pick up the blue eyes? Yeah. Just barely there, but also again, very clean, very nice all white snake. And here's the third one. And by the way, I know they kind of look dehydrated, but I think that's uh, probably the... Uh, the white of the egg has dried onto them. I do have water in there for them, but they usually, you know, don't really need it. Just plenty of humidity, and there's plenty of humidity, but um, that's why it kind of looks like this. It's just kind of crinkly. I don't necessarily believe in taking them out of the egg and throwing them right into a bath of water. I think it's too stressful. I think that uh, once the humidity gets in there, they kind of move around a little bit. It'll clean that off, and then they'll shed. Uh, and then that'll be gone, so uh, not a big deal. This does have bedding all over it, but um, anyway, so there you go. You can see the blue eyes there. Uh, just, yeah, well, number three. Anyway, so I am very happy with the way this clutch turned out. I was actually looking or hoping to get a visual bamboo, um, ideally a... Uh, Uh, ideally a pastel bamboo just because I really like the way they look but you know what all three of these white snakes have bamboo in them they are gorgeous snakes and um, you know there's no deformities or kinks or anything that I could see they look perfectly healthy and so yeah we'll go ahead and do an update once they've all shed out all right thanks for watching bye